Hey creators, this is Slava from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. And today I'm going to introduce you a few exciting features in Filmora 13, which are AI Smart Mask and AI Auto Tracker. By the end of this video, you will learn how to achieve cinematic Sin City effect, professional product shot logo reveal, and trendy cutout zoom effect. No more waste of hours of your time to create a mask point by point. Now it's a matter of a mouse click or if you enter more control, allows you to choose your selection with the smart brush. So let's dive in into these brand new tools and how we can use them on practice. Let's say I'm shooting a commercial for this beautiful bottle and I need to create a final shot with the brand reveal. AI Smart Mask is here to help. First, I will put my shot on the timeline and speed ramp it like this, so I'm happy with how quick it arrives to the final position. Then I will duplicate it two layers above. I will double click on the shot that I just copied, go to video, mask, and here I can find the AI smart mask feature. I will find select subject in the drop down menu. I will click on my selection and just like that my bottle is selected. Next step is to take all the right side points of my mask and extend them outside of the frame, like this. Now I can place my logo and keyframe its position so it appears behind the bottle. As a final step, in the keyframe panel I will right click on my first keyframe and I will find Easy Out in the drop down menu, as well as click on my second keyframe and I will select Easy In. That will make my title animation a lot more smooth and natural. For the Sin City effect, I have this epic balloon shot that I found in Filmora stock media. Feel free to browse because there is a lot of good stuff. I will put it on the timeline and I will duplicate it a layer above. I will go to AI Smart Mask, select brush, adjust the size and will select the balloon. The selection looks great, but as I scroll my mask and object gets separated. To solve that issue, I will go to the beginning of my shot and will find path in my mask settings. I will click on the play button and the magic of AI will drag my selection automatically while I am drinking my coffee. Wow, you learn so fast, fantastic! Now what's left is to adjust the color. I will double click on my bottom clip and will go to color tab. I will decrease my saturation to zero and increase my contrast, as well as increase saturation on the top clip. And voila, Sin City effect is complete. The last effect meant more for short form media or music videos. It's a very effective visual technique, yet very simple to make. Let me show you. I have a shot with my model on the timeline. Notice, my shot is not too tight, it has some room for the mask expansion. I will scroll to the point where I want the effect to start and will find freeze frame option in the drop down menu. I will adjust the freeze frame as long as I want the effect to last and I will copy the clip to the layer above. Then in duplicated clip I will select AI smart mask and I will choose select character. That will select my model. I will increase the mask expansion like this and will duplicate this clip 5 more times. Then I will double click on the second from the top clip and increase the scale like this. And I will do that with the rest of the clips. Lastly, I will adjust the length of all the layers so every couple frames the mask expands at the beginning and collapses at the end. And here you have it, now you are a trendy reels maker. In this video we covered so many different scenarios, but we want to know what do you enjoy the most? Is it trendy visual techniques for reels? cinematic effects from the movies or professional commercial techniques. Feel free to let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Filmora 13. Keep creating and I will see you next time.